How's it going, friends? Sean Don coming back with a technical analysis. Here we have Josh Beiswanger, a repeat customer of the in-depth technical analyses, which you love to see because it means, you know, he's making changes, making progress, coming back for more. He's hungry for knowledge. You love to see it. If you're interested in a technical analysis, go to my new website, gripandrip.co. Check out the coaching services, all sorts of things there to partake in. Throws programming, coaching, lifting programming, you can get the whole gambit, or you can just get one of these here in depth technical analysis videos. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Let's give it a look. Uh, Josh said he's working on the four turn weight throw because the rhythm of a three turn weight throw versus a four turn hammer throw feels too different. And I couldn't agree more. I think that's a great idea. Um, yes, a four turn weight throw can be a little funky and. Um, you know, if you press too hard, you can have problems with foot fouls, and uh, if you're not feeling that fresh physically, it, it has its drawbacks, but I think in terms of rhythm, if you can execute it correctly, I think it's going to be the way to go. Um, so, let's start uh, breaking it down. One more watch. Cool. So, pause it. Sling start, four turn. Love to see it. Let's do it. Uh, so, facing the back, or facing the right pretty well. Load on that right leg. Very good. Coming through on entry. You can see your head is just a little bit ahead, but you do a good job of staying patient and really connecting uh, and staying square, keeping the shoulders down, hips level, nice and centered 50 50. As ball goes left. You can see there's not, I'd like to see a little bit more pressure back through this right leg. So as the ball goes through zero, sink that uh, that right hip, or sorry, sink that left hip a little bit back towards 180 and uh, set the direction a little bit. And then from there, you're doing a pretty good job turning with the ball. You can see your hips are shifting back a little bit, just very subtly, but single supports pretty well. I think you could let the ball get a little longer out to the left. You're pretty flat, which is good. Shoulders are staying down. That's very nice. I think you could have a little bit more pressure with this right foot too. Looks a little soft, like it's just kind of along for the ride. And then you can see it looks like there's a little rise up in this single support here. Try to stay down, drop into that first turn. Yeah. Um, it looks like your shoulders can get a little tight. On this first catch, yeah, if you see, watch your hips here, and then as you go through on this catch, your hips rise up, and you can see this this uh, left leg kind of straightens out a bit. This right leg is almost entirely straight. You're not really down in the legs at all. Um, level shoulders, still hips are under you, which is great. But I think if you could have this position, but with just a little bit more knee flexion, that'd be dope. Um, you'd feel the ground a little bit better, have a little bit more to work with. You catch flat-footed, which is fine, nice and stable. Good catch position, coming through zero, and then you can see that right foot is a little stiff, not doing much turning. You can see this left side kind of shifts back a little bit. It's not major. It's not like anything that's going to like totally mess you up, but you can see this uh, just a little bit there before the ball gets to zero. You need the ball to get through that left side before this left side really shifts. Uh, back to the left like that and once again i think if you set the direction a little bit better in the entry um of course that'll mean the left side is going back at this point not back to the left but back to 180 um and that'll give the appearance that it's more stable which is a good thing and then you can see a little shifting back hips coming back like i said right leg's not totally engaged so there's not much pressure around the left side you just kind of shift back with his left, returning. <clears throat> really smooth, silky single support here. Quick right leg, that's dope. But then you can see, I think the, the video is not the highest quality, but I think it looks like your shoulders are starting to shrug up a little bit. So got to keep the shoulders down and relax like they were in entry. Stay long, protract those shoulders forwards, keep the shoulder blades depressed and down and forwards. And then you catch and you see you kind of have the same thing here with this right leg being straight, um, kind of flat-footed again. I think you need to get on the ball of that foot. 
so that way it can turn a little bit better. If you land flat-footed in the first turn, that's cool. I think that's good for stability. You land flat-footed in the second turn, I think there's a few people out there who do it, but I don't think it's as beneficial. Um, I think what happens is you're going to land flat-footed and that right foot's not going to turn. Not saying that you need to even t think about turning it consciously, but if it can't turn even subconsciously, I think you're kind of limiting yourself. Because you see it lands, this left side starts to turn, and that right side doesn't really start to turn until the ball gets to just about zero. But that being said, you're more stable here. That left side is better. You hit this better. Look at this position. This is great. Level shoulders, balls right at zero, level hips. Everything's squared up. And you hit a decent uh, pendulum backwards, striking the ball right as it's in between your legs, which is nice. Better single support here. I think you could uh, be just a bit more patient. You can see the right foot kind of comes off the ground just a little early. Not a huge deal. But a little bit more patience would be good because you can see you kind of get pulled around that left side. You get your weight shifts back over here a little early instead of staying in the center. And then you have this uh, very slight lean. You can see a weird kind of angle between the hips and the shoulders here where like the hips are kind of tilted down and the shoulders are tilted kind of up. Like you got this greater than sign between the hips and the shoulders, which means that's not exactly connected. If anything, I'd rather see this left shoulder a little bit more down here. Uh, matching the angle of the hips and then your hips could be well you could be your hips could be a little bit more under you or your shoulders could be a little bit more of your hips I think that would be better but catch again same thing kind of flat footed like I said get on that ball of the foot I think that'll make a big difference do some isometric uh, you know calf raises at the top single footed right leg only left leg only and uh, learn to feel stable through that ankle I think that'll help a lot you catch, hips are under you, which is nice. You can see there's a little tightness here. As you can see, the low point starts to shift a little bit after zero. And you're not quite hitting that pendulum back as much. That left heel comes down right about there. And then your, your impulse after that left heel comes down is kind of down this left sector line. You can see, even as you turn, where your hips are going, where your shoulders are going, it's facing back that way. Uh, rather than striking the ball at zero, once again, strike the, striking the ball just a little bit late here. But then you do a good job of uh, keeping up with it, and you get your hips turning a little bit better. But then same thing, this weird, like, kind of uh, greater than uh, sign in terms of if you look at the shoulders here and the hips there. Uh, Got to get them on the same plane. You catch a little over-rotated on four. The latest catch of the throw. And then there's, once again, not much pressure coming from this right leg. It's all left side coming back to get yourself out of the way to deliver the hammer. I'm sure this left shoulder might feel kind of tight here. You can see, once again, kind of a flat-footed catch. Not much pressure. Shifting back. Getting out of the way. Losing a little tension. And at the very last bit, once it gets through zero, you finally start to work the hips a little bit and get out. So. Yeah, there's definitely some things to be improved upon. Some things are good. Some things are not so great. But uh, overall, you know, I think you're on the right track. Your start's pretty decent. One more time, we'll run through it real quick. Start's decent. Uh, first heel catch, go for it. After that, try to get on the ball of the foot more. And then otherwise, it's just feeling a little bit more pressure with this right side, I think. Keeping this left side a little bit more stable. Like I said, you want to set the direction in the entry a little bit better crank back there you want to uh, lean back a little bit more here as well into 180 and then uh, this this catch this double support I think is the best in my opinion I think if they all look like that that'd be pretty cool but then you gotta stay a little centered like I said you get pulled around that left a little bit so yeah ball of the foot get those hips connected a little bit better feel a little bit more right side pressure keep that left side a little bit more stable get a little bit better direction I think you're gonna be off to the races so yeah Thanks for watching. Josh, if you have any questions, let me know. If anybody else out there would like a technical analysis, go to gripandrip.co. Coaching services. Check it out. Only $15. If you get a double meat guacamole burrito from Chipotle, it's about the same cost if you ask me. I think it's a good investment. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Sean Don, peace and out. Until next time.